There's so many ways that we break our own heart, but I want to just, I was running and it, this just came to my mind as I was running. I was thinking about my life and I was thinking about a lot of things in my life when my life wasn't the best it should be, right? When I wasn't living that greatest me, because we all have that inside us. I want you to, I want to be clear, like greatness is not just available to me. It's not just available to the people you look up to, the people you follow. Greatness is, is available to everyone. Yes, you watching this. Greatness is inside of you. There's a you inside of you that you haven't even met yet. I want to be clear, but you will never meet that person holding on to the things, whether it's habits, whether it's people, whether it's your past that's keeping you in the same place, the same place of doubt, the same place of fear, the same place of living in your insecurities. You will never get to that place that you should be at. And so I call that breaking your own heart because a lot of times we point the finger, which is true sometimes. This person broke my heart. I get that. I understand that. But there comes a point when you know these things, right? But you still choose to accept it, right? You still choose to accept it. That is called breaking your own heart. And I'm going to tell you one thing that I knew in my life, and it's probably true for you, is that some of us, we are too loyal to the wrong things. We're too loyal to the wrong people. We're loyal to the people that keeps breaking us down, that keeps breaking us heart, keep our heart, that keeps putting us in pain, that takes away our self-confidence, that makes us feel like we're nothing. And we stay loyal to these people, right? We're loyal to the bad habits in our life that are moving us absolutely nowhere. And what bothers me the most is that so many people complain about the things they're not willing to change. It might not be your fault. I know this is going to hurt and sting a little bit, but I got to be real with you. It might not be your fault where you're at today. It might not, it probably is, but it might not be your fault where you're at today, but it's for sure as heck your fault if you choose to stay here, especially after tonight. That's on you, right? Pain might have brought you to where you're at, circumstances, etc. Life happens, but if you choose to stay here, that is on you. You might say, Trent, I don't know how, forget the how. You gotta develop a strong why in your life. Why you cannot afford to stay here? Why you cannot afford to keep being loyal to the things that bring your life nothing but pain? that bring your life nothing but struggle. Well, Trent, I, I just can't walk away. Well, guess what? If you can't burn those bridges, then you're gonna keep those bridges in your life and you're gonna live the rest of your life miserable. Life is short, man. Let's be real. What's the average, like 78 years old, something like that? Life is short. One of my biggest fears is getting to my, my grave, get dying, right, on my deathbed, realizing I live my whole entire life for other people. Not in a positive way, in a negative way. I live my whole entire life being loyal to the wrong people. I live my whole entire life allowing people's opinions to silence my greatness because I was so afraid what people were going to say. Like, are those opinions going to matter at the end of the day anyway? We sitting there trying to impress people that ain't going to be here 100 years from now. Let's be real about it. Some of us, we live in our life for people that could care less about us. Think about that for a second. Some of us, and when I say some of us, that was me at a point. Until I got sick and tired of being sick and tired for real. I said, you know what? I'm going to make the world respect my greatness, regardless if you like it or not, straight up. But some of us, we're going to live our whole entire life being loyal to the wrong people. And you know why? Because we haven't learned how to love ourselves. When you don't know how to love yourself, when you don't set the tone for your life, you accept somebody else's watered down version of how you're supposed to be treated, of what love is. You accept somebody's opinion of yourself because you don't have a truth about your own life. So you accept what they give you. They tell you nothing, you believe that. Let me tell you something right now. You are everything. You are something. You are enough. But you know what you are? You're also exactly what you choose to settle for. And the beautiful thing about life is you have... Man, I'm shaking right now because I'm so passionate. The beautiful thing, because somebody will get a breakthrough in here, man. I don't know who it is. It's probably going to be 3%, like always, 3%. The rest of the people are just going one ear and out the other. They're going to click the like and the, and the heart button and do nothing. But it's 3% of people here is going to get a breakthrough. But you are exactly what you choose to settle for, man. You are exactly what you choose to settle for. Please stop being loyal to the wrong people. Be loyal to someone who brings your life peace, not problems. Be loyal to someone who lifts you up, not brings you down. Be loyal to the right things and the right people because when you're loyal to the right things and the right, right people, I promise you, your life will elevate. There's nothing special about me. Y'all look at me, oh, Trent travels the world and he has 6,000 people on here and everybody loves him and follows him. You know what? Those things are great, but you know where it started? With me. It started with me loving myself. It started with me setting boundaries that don't budge. It started with me saying, you know what? I'm not gonna allow someone to treat me a certain type of way. 
It started with me setting the tone for my life. Okay? So I want you to digest this tonight. I want you to think about it, and I want you to make a change. Think about the things that you are loyal to. Some of us is addictions. Some of us is our past. Some of us is people. Some of us is opinions. We're loyal to the wrong things, and we wonder why our life doesn't change, man. Like, stop thinking there's some magic formula for success if you want to talk. It's not. Success is easy. I promise you it's easy. But you know why success is hard? Because you got to do the work. Like me out here running six miles, ain't nobody out here with me. I don't have to do this, but I value my health. I value being the best me, not just for me, but for you. I, I value being the best me for my kids. I want to be able to function when Tristan gets 14, 16. I told him today, I said, I don't care when you're 20 years old, I'm going to still beat you running. I want to be the best me because I refuse to, to leave this earth with regret. You know how many great men, you know how many people die with regret? You know how many people are going to go going to get to the end of their life and realize that they live probably 10% of their capability for whatever reason. And most people it's because they, they of fear, fear, forget fear, man. If somebody don't believe in you. You know how many people, how many people didn't believe in me who told me that you're not a speaker who, oh, you're too this, you're too much of that. All of those things. I didn't listen to them because I knew what God told me and showed me. I'm not worried about people who don't agree with me, people who don't like me. I ain't worried about that because my mission is way bigger than people's opinions. But I refuse to surround my life around things that don't bring out the best me. I refuse it. And some people don't like it. Some people say it's cold hearted. Some people say it's insensitive. I don't care what people say, but I refuse to be used. I refuse to put my life around things that don't better my life. So I'm going to end this live with this. Where you're at today, you heard me say this a thousand times, might not be your fault, but it is your fault if you choose to stay there, okay? I've now brought it to your attention. Awareness is beautiful because awareness means that you are aware so you can take a first step to do something about it. You can do something about it, you can do nothing about it. It's on you, but do not complain about the things you aren't willing to change. Do not complain about the things that you aren't willing to change. Somebody can only treat you the way you allow them to. And I'll end it right there. It's rehab time. Let's get it.